Hey friends, how are you today? Welcome to Trailblazing TV. I'm doing something a little bit different this afternoon, so thank you so much for taking a moment of your day and investing it with me here too. So I shared with you yesterday that I was going to come online today and talk to you a little bit more about some of the things that were revealed at the Brand You workshop that I did last Wednesday. And the reason I'm sharing a little bit here today is that I know there are there was quite a few ladies and guys actually that had expressed interest in wanting to participate with what we were doing at that event, but you just weren't able to get there. So I wanted to bring a little bit of information to you here today because this stuff is powerful. And it's really interesting because just to kind of give an overview for those of you who it's your first time here, what I have done for years is I help businesses get business and make money. I love working with high performing individuals that have a vision or they've had a vision, they have goals, but many of the people that I tend to work with, mm, wow, life has thrown them a curveball or sometimes on their journey, you know, the you find that you're on a detour or maybe life has even leveled you out for a while, but you're not done living, right? You're not done in your business yet. You're not done with what you want to do. And so I share this with you because one, that's been part of my journey too. And this whole thing that inspired me to share and put together this workshop called Brand You is that I have had so many people talk to me about my story. And I've been very transparent about what I've been going through that I really wanted to share more of what I've learned because. My heart is here to help others bypass a lot of the junky stuff that I had to go through. And I guess this is just my, my heart to serve, my heart to lead. And so, you know, for me, life threw me some pretty significant curveballs, a big ass detour, and definitely has leveled me out a few times. And through it all, I've had this big vision of where I'm supposed to be and how I'm supposed to lead. And the Lord knows, like literally, that I'm sitting with some information and knowledge and that can help others bypass that hard learning curve. So I wanna give a quick shout out. Hi, Travis, thanks for joining. Hi, Mary, thanks for being here a little bit on this beautiful afternoon. And so what I wanna talk about right now is where are you at with your business, your, whether you're building a business or you're in charge of a department, or maybe you're ending a corporate career or you're, you, you've got an exit plan and you see that one, you're not done with life and living yet. And so you want to step into a new version of you, but you're not sure what that is yet, right? So one of the biggest things that we talked about at the Brand You Workshop last week was all about disconnect and ditching it. And so I want to encourage you, if you have been feeling lost or frustrated about where you're at and what you're doing and where you're going, I encourage you just hang in there, right? Hi, Brenda. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for being here today. And so when I'm talking about disconnect, there's a, hey, Joanne, thanks for being here. There's an alarming statistic that when you really wrap your arms around this, it may not seem like at first blush it directly would relate to you until you distill it down. So when we're talking about disconnect, another way of expressing that is to share that most people, when they show up, to work. They show up with what they're doing. They're totally not engaged. They don't like what they're doing. Maybe they don't like their boss. They're not happy with their clients. They're not happy with their coworkers. And that passion, that, that invigoration, that inspiration, the things that motivated you in the early phases of your career or of your life, it's just not there anymore. Anybody here relate to that? Is it just, has it just been me? I know that I've got a few of you online here, so 
where the numbers come in and why I get so passionate about this subject and wanting to help others get reconnected is that when you're at work or you're just, you know, you're sharing of your time, you're sharing of your heart, if you're disconnected, it makes it really hard for you to engage in with the things that you're supposed to do at work. And it creates this really vicious emotional cycle. In fact, it can create a spiral down cycle. And so, hi, Shirley, welcome, welcome. But when we are tapped into having our heart and our head, and sometimes really deep within the belly, our soul, all in alignment with who we are and what we do and what we say and how we act. There, and, and more importantly, we are fully immersed in life and work on fire. We're really on fire with passion and excitement. This becomes a game changer. And here's how it shows up. When we are disconnected with who we are and what we are doing, right? We all have to do something to keep a roof over our head. So, and I love work. I love being, I love having businesses. But when you are disconnected, you're not engaged, you're not passionate, you're not really in it for the, the long haul, what tends to happen is you have all this self-talk in your head, right? And I'd love to find out, you know, give me a thumbs up or a little, little love if this relates to you, right? Maybe there's a client you have to work with and you're like, oh my gosh, I really don't want to talk to this person today. But yet you have to. And in the pit of your stomach, right? In that moment, in the pit of your stomach, you feel like there's this lead, this brick or this, this, this rock that is in, the, in your belly, right? Has anybody ever felt that? Because I know that I've had that. Or maybe my heart, my heart just gets heavy, right? And you find that in those moments when you're working with or you're needing to work with people that are really not, a, they're not connected to you because maybe there's values aligned or for whatever reason, you're just not clicking, but you have to press on, you need to move forward. When you allow that heaviness or that that sadness that in some cases it turns into depression, right? It, we get overwhelmed, it turns into stress, that turns into loneliness. This can turn into sickness and disease and death. And I'm not just talking figurative. I'm talking when we are disconnected with who we are and what we're doing and we're not fully engaged, we're not fully passionate, we are putting ourselves on this downward spiral of emotions and it really has an impact in our lives and the lives of the people who love us and the lives of the people who we, we could be serving and we should be serving. And when you're talking about business, right, there's, when, when we are not connected and not aligned in our business and in, in with what we're doing or we're not aligned with our brand even, right, you can attract people that it becomes agitated and complicated and difficult and they don't turn into paying customers that love you and stay with you. You're always in this churn and grind. And so numerically, the data has shown that it is 73 to 80% of people show up to work and they are not passionate about what they do. They're very disconnected with who they are and why they're doing things. And so for a company, right, if you're running a company and you have disconnected employees or better yet, if you're the owner or you're the one in charge and you're disconnected with your brand, you're like, you're not passionately crazy, immensely in love with what you're doing and what you're representing, you are creating a culture where there's cracks and fissures and fractures and your employees, your customers, your vendors, they know it, they feel it. They may not be able to verbalize it. They may not be able to identify it, but it shows up in things like how many, what, what's the fire of the day that you seem to have to put out over and over and over and over again? What's the drama of the day that is always showing up that when you have good intentions of things to get done 
And then there's always something that you have to turn your attention to, you're distracted by because it needs your time. My friend, that is, these are elements. These are little towels that you're disconnected or there's disconnect inside of your work or your team. And so I'm really passionate about helping my clients, helping you step through and in some cases when we're when we're having these places where we're feeling less than but we have these ideas we have these visions and we have these goals are just not quite in a line if i can help you and hold your hand and show you how to either step over go around get beyond and let's actually remove the causes of the things that are causing the drama that are causing the disconnect that are causing the misalignment you can get to that place where you are so on fire about what you're doing. So I invite you to imagine what is one of the things that has been repetitive in your life at work that keeps flipping this drama. And you've heard yourself say, man, if only I could do blank, right? If only I could stop this, get rid of this. What would your life look like? Like what, what is that thing that you'd be getting rid of? And what would it mean to you to remove that? Would you have time freedom? Would it give you some moments to breathe? Would it give you an opportunity to just not be so stressed at work? Would it actually give you an opportunity to where you'd have more time for your own self-care or you'd actually have more endurance, more confidence, more joy doing what you're doing because you get to focus on the things that bring you joy and bring you happiness. So if you can just take a moment and envision what is this next big challenge that you'd love to get rid of and what's been stopping you? What's been holding you back? And more importantly, whatever that it is that's holding you back and whatever that it is that you're thinking of right now that keeps showing up and replaying, what's the cost been to you? Like, I'm talking here physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, financially. What's that cost of allowing that drama to stay? And what's the cost to you by, by allowing yourself to sit in that space where you don't want to walk through the fear of what it might take to get yourself to the other side? And I know those are really strong words but my friend, I'm here to share with you that I've been through this journey. And yes, sometimes it is a little bit unsettling to take action, to remove drama and grow and lean into ourselves and allow ourselves to become whole and healed and happy. And this is so counterintuitive to a lot of what's going on in the world right now, where most people, as we look, most people are living in drama and they're living in stress. They're living in high anxiety and they're so micro focused on the challenge in front of them that they can't look at the opportunity that's right beside them. And so I want to invite you to connect up with me. And share with me a little bit more, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know. What, what is that one challenge that if you could just wave your magic wand and money and time were no issue and you could get rid of it today and you could live life on your terms, which is the right amount of everything that allows you to feel happy, joyful, complete, and fulfilled, what's that next thing that you want to remove from your life? And so leave a comment below and I'm going to be sharing a little bit more tomorrow. So thank you so much for being here with me today. And remember this. Sometimes when you're out there and you feel all alone 
and you're silently praying for that solution, the answer will show up. That teacher will show up when you're ready. And sometimes that answer comes from a surprising place. So if my words here have pinged your heart, I'm here to help serve you. Comment below, connect up with me privately, and know this. Know that you're loved. Know that you're truly appreciated. Know that you are needed. Know that you're wanted. Embrace the idea that you have magnificence with who you are and what you want to do, especially with that thing that's been on your heart that you've told nobody. We are not here accidentally. The people in my world, we connect and it's a divine intervention. It's a divine connection. And so I encourage you, allow yourself to breathe. Allow yourself to consider what I've shared with you. Comment below. Let's connect up. And remember to live in your power. Live in peace. You can have peace internally. And remember, you deserve to live in your joy. And I will see you tomorrow. Rock on.